Chicago in the 30s was quite a swinging place with mobster thugs and Tommy guns and liquor by the case. And in a jump and jive and joint on 52nd Street, Southside Johnny played the cards and never had been beat. Some people thought he cheated but couldn't prove a thing. That's why the guys in the know said Johnny was the king. Each night at 7 he'd come in to hustle up the boozers. And by 8.30, he'd walk out and leave behind the losers. That night, he came into the bar and ordered up a gin. Then he found a blackjack table, threw his money in. The first hand of an ace and seven brought a gleam to the dealer's eyes, because he knew when Johnny tipped, he always tipped in fives. Across the room, a dame walked in. Queenie was her name. Those gams were curves with bright red hair. She could put a movie star to shame. Johnny tried to look away, tried to hold his card hand steady. Because Queenie broke his heart that night, she ran off with Fast Eddie. His concentration started slipping. Time moved very slow. The hands on his watch read 837. It was time to go. But Queenie walked across the room and stood there by his chair. She straightened up his collar run her fingers through his hair. She bent and whispered in his ear, John, let's blow this dive. And the dealer smiled and held out his hand, hoping for another five. She said, I know you like the South Side Johnny, but over on the North, Fast Eddie's got some suckers at his club on 74th. Johnny's heart let to his throat. It could be a sting. It happened time and time again. It's tough to be the king. The four guys in Eddie's joint were lots and gold of gold and diamonds, and Johnny hoped he'd beat him fast, because he was tired of this stupid rhyming. He took the cards and said, fellas, blackjack is the game. Fast Eddie walked away, saying, what are you, a dame? Another guy said he'd sit out, so Johnny dealt for three. You guys throw some money down, because no one plays for free. The guys threw down, the cards turned up, and Johnny thought he'd die. For the first time ever in his life, he'd played into a tie. Bassetti came back and said with a snare, poker will even the score, and Johnny knew he'd have to work to beat these cheating four. He took the cards, shuffled, cut, and dealt them to the table in a row, determined that he would separate these suckers from their dough. Each man in turn picked up his hand to see what he'd been dealt. The first guy had three sixes and put a C note on the felt. The second guy had a flush and doubled up the bet. Then he leaned back and lit a cigarette. The third guy had a full house, deuces over eights. He doubled up again. He'd beat these reprobates. Fastetti had four nines. He knew his hand was hot. He was so sure he would win, he threw Queenie in the pot. The Southside Johnny kept his cool as he counted up the green. Then he lay his hand down, a royal flush in spades, which meant he was still the king.